Hello my dear coders, software engineers, programmers and other developers around the world. I am a Russian man who brings well with my own experiences and today we're going to talk about how to transcribe the video by using the Python programming language. We will talk about this topic and if you are even not the professions that I mentioned, then you will understand this topic. First of all, let's start from the what is transcribed video? What the hell is it? It is the video that has captions like text, for example, subtitles. You have subtitles, I speak something and it is showing what I speak about, okay? And how to create it by using Python. Python, it is programming language that we use. I will talk about it in a conceptual way with using variables that inside of my head, okay? We have the video. First of all, what's our variables that we will use? Like what's the data that we have right now? We have data of the video, and that's all. It is uh, the format MPEG or MP4 or maybe Windows Media Player, we WMP and others. It is extensions of our files. And inside of this file, we have information about the video structures. It is the grid. Grid is a specific thing like uh, to see. We have specific grid and uh, of uh, variables with pixels, with information to, with uh, arrays of data. And also we have sound. We need sound here. Sometimes also video to kind of do neural networks of our face to read it and something else but we need actually the sound sound waves that we have what's the sound waves in in a computer in a computer it is specific frequencies that we have sounds but more deeply it is for us it is frequencies but more deeply for a computer it is a byte bytes like bytes megabytes other things like uh, bit information byte information 8 bytes uh, like uh, 16 bytes uh, 32 64 and others okay it is information 0 1 1 0 0 1 this type of sequences it is our speech and we should right now to stop on one button bus stop. It is the our bus stop of how to right now recognize what I speak about. It is the data analysis. Need to take an analysis of every letter, of every sound, every phoneme. Phoneme it is called out of our voice. For example, I say A letter, B letter, C, letter C D, and others. It is actually sounds, phonemes, and I can do kind of classifications of them. I can say poo, I can say su, I can say ri, I can say ru, I can say di, I can say li, and other combinations of them. Leroy, also diroy, theroy, shiroy, and others. And also in different types of uh, pitch. Shiroy, Leroy, kiroy. Luri yeah, and others. I can speak differently, really. And uh, but the most what I need it is my own speech range. If we do this kind of uh, the first draft, I need to like uh, to use only my voice that I use uh, almost frequently all the time. Like I speak this way, not this way, yes. And uh, but we we should kind of see the information from this kind of spectrum, spectrum of voice of uh, pitch that we have. Higher we will not take and lower this way we will not take too because it is not super useful sometimes. But uh, if we will go further then we need it. We analyze the data of lo, li, fa, se, ri, mo, ka, i, no, re, sounds, phonemes and these structures and then we have files of them files of this information, like uh, here, 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 and also we have the sounds of this information with inner voices, inner noises, because you maybe don't imagine it, but we have sounds and noises around. For example, I speak and also uh, kind of on the background will be voices of somebody, and we should record it with even noises, like with a specific noises too, sometimes, like uh, put your uh, frequency changer here and it will produce uh, some of the noises on the background, and we should analyze it too, but it is again for the next iterations, next drafts we will use Use it. Okay, we have the phonemes information, we have this, this mp3 files that we have already. 
Then we analyze the bytes of this information. It is doing by the transcribing in a Python. We have comments how to like uh, we have mp3 file and we can see bytes of the information of this mp3 file what's the information coding information inside of it for a machine it is even more like a complex way it it will be not an information it will be it will be not a zero one zero one it will be more even harder for us harder it will be energy specific like power that on transistors it will be for them and uh, we have this information okay we have the small blocks and you guessed it right yes right now we have these blocks and we have the main voice the main mp3 file then we apply it to this for each segment we use this uh, phonemes right now and we apply this phonemes for our like uh, tokenized tokenized tokens small tokens of our main uh, of our main sequence right now will be some introducing we have the sequence you know we recorded the video yes we have the audio of this video yes okay you remember the audio of this video we should right now cut it five seconds or maybe three seconds or two seconds to recognize patterns okay two seconds of each this uh, file huge file that we have of our speech of video we also do small par portions of them by by doing specific like timings of this by maybe two seconds we will divide and then we divided it okay and we have this small portions tokenized they called tokens tokens that we have tokens that we have and these tokens we will use to compare with our database of sounds we have database of sounds you remember we we created it by previously recorded like kiro se mali and others we did a dictionary of them and we have comparing with them okay now it is the part of the connection of them and creating words for example i said ki re and uh, it will be ki re and uh, i said for example ku ler and it will be cooler, for example, and we can connect it together. And here is the some analytical point will be like need to analyze and need to create a dictionary of uh, English dictionary. Like we create a dictionary of words that maybe you could use. And uh, this kind of analysis of the of the data, for example, we created cool layer but computer doesn't understand cool layer that it is cooler need to create specific things if i said cool layer it means cooler if i said for example face face the the fa fa the then it is faced yes and when i said these types of forms then it means that it is this word more probability that this this particular form it will be right now the probability probability research like what's the what's the probability of this person that he said faced but not like a facet face set or maybe he wanted to say what's the words uh, homophones we have in our speech for example we can say uh, da, 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 treat Treat flip flip. Uh, for example, let's imagine that we have word flip f l i p, and also we have word f l e e p. Yes, flip. And uh, I don't know what f l e e p means, but you understand that we created this word. And right now we'll be work with the contextual. Like the computer should analyze what I said and uh, do the kind of guessing what type of speech i should say for example i said uh, flip or f l i p or f l e e p it should be right now analyzing how to do this need to gather again data need to create dictionaries for it what word is what is flip what is cool what is uh, race and also need to create dictionaries of sentences that are mainly used in this form for example people sometimes say like people sometimes say people sometimes say it is the sentence and uh, it is like a useful sentence that people sometimes use they don't uh, say kind of people sometimes uh, quirk mirk 
Uh, it is uh, not the sentence uh, that we produce. Quirk Mirk will be in the sentences of something like uh, maybe surreal talk. And we should create dictionaries of the probability what topic the person talk about. For example, topic about love, topic about the the science, topic about the computers, topic about the biology, about astrology, also about the, for example, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, about pandas, about pandas of Python library, about the business cards, about wallets, about uh, Ethereum, about Coinbase and other things like topics, small topics of things that uh, people could talk about, sentences, examples of sentences, and then computer will analyze, uh, yes, it is is, uh, the more probability that he was speaking about it. If his previous sentence was about science, then the next sentence should be maybe with more probability about science too. If two about science, then third will be about science too. If person said for example, then topic could be changing. It is uh, like, for example, when we say, then we want to give an instance to the person. Uh, we want to give him, like, example of uh, things, uh, what's maybe storytelling time, back backstory of life. And in this situation, we, we, we don't talk about scientific stuff. In this situation, we can speak also about surreal stuff or maybe about storytelling, how we went to the store or maybe to the bus stop or maybe to other places, you, you know. And... Uh, it is how it works. Then it is kind of producing. Okay, we analyzing, analyzing it, and then we have the the sequence of words that could produce on our screen. How it will be produced? It is font. Need to use font specific. It is easy. Right now, designing will be, and previous is easy, but it has uh, a lot of iterations. Like need to analyze this, 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 and then go to this. Okay, and here is the what uh, should be appearing. It should be the background, background with specific opacity. It will be a rectangle, for example, and also it uh, will be specific borderline, border radius, also the font, font radius, font size, font color, font opacity, font uh, structure and other, and also font, uh, yes, size I said before, and style, like uh, Times New Roman it will be, or others, what's the color in a mini of uh, zero zero f uh, uh, sh hash hashtag uh, sh zero zero two and other like uh, or rgb it will be it is a different talks already like uh, it is the specific libraries for colors okay R right now you know how to create a website if you liked uh, it uh, then okay we also can talk about uh, different things because i understand when i talk about this i kind of make it more sustainable in my mind too because i'm as you maybe i'm learning too maybe if you are watching my channel for a long time then maybe you are not familiar with these topics and uh, it is kind of maybe for you kind of oh, Jesus, so super hard things to understand it it happens because you are not fully familiar with this vocabulary when you know this vocabulary then your mind can produce faster faster associations and it means you understand it better it is how our mind work it is how our brains work the more we repeat the same information the better we can kind of recall it in our memory it means if you want to be software developer, software engineer, then listen a lot about some physics formulas, also the Newton's uh, laws, about Boltzmann laws, about Planck's Gaussian things, also about the mathematician for formulas, uh, also about Einstein things and others. Uh, Nikola Tesla inventions need to hear about it more. If you want to be uh, like in biology, then you need to, to know about the, the laws of uh, dominant recessive uh, genomes. And uh, I mean that recessive genes, I think so. I, I'm not fully into biology in English. We have specific laws of one person, Mendel. The laws of Mendel. He created this laws. I hope that I said the correct. Laws of Mendel. Mendel. Genetics, yes. It is the law of segregation and independent assortment. Yes, exactly. And uh, 
I want to be better in this topic and uh, if you will allow me, I want to talk with you now about another topics. For example, we can talk about uh, how to... Uh, how, how to... what uh, I have here? For example, how to vis visualize data in Python. One moment. Yes, and also about one moment. Uh, yes, I have the topics. 50 the most ah okay and it is like my plans for today i want to talk about uh, how to create uh, the machine how to teach a machine to write books for example you have a robot or at least you have a computer how to teach a computer to write books it is the same process as we were doing with the websites uh, with analyzing data you should do this sequence of actions you should uh, by using the programming language i actually i want to speak in programming lang language with you but you maybe don't uh, understand we will not fully understand it maybe but i will say about it conceptually with variables too if you want to teach your machine to write books then need to first of all set purpose set goal what kind of books this machine should write about like what's the book this this book will be about if it will be about love if it will be about mystery if it will be about horrors it will be about religious stuff it will be non-fiction it will be something like about glasses about dogs about horses about the maybe animals others kangaroo yetis about fictional stuff and surreal and also elves gnomes wyverns dragons and other creatures castles and also the strongholds and and about these things maybe it will be the the book about it and what need to understand first it is this data about this uh, like what type of books we have S then set a goal what type of books we should write okay we will write for example about the strongholds and about the kind of medieval times with bards with guitar playing with horsemen with uh, different dry knees and also dry 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 dryads i mean dryads and walking sticks i mean the walking walking trees and also some birds that are can speak with us and something like this and uh, if we want to make your machine to write about it then need to teach the machine about the database of previous experience that we were that was that the books that were re written in this genre about medieval times about strongholds about the kind of medieval fiction medieval fantasies we should put inside of the machine this data the data will be inside lord of the rings hobbit maybe about the what's G.R.R. Martin will be the Game of Thrones, will be also Dungeon and Dragons inside of him, manuals also will be something from, uh, f for example, about gnomes, elves and uh, pandas who are uh, creatures, walking creatures and other fantasy stuff about the ferrets who are magical and other things will be inside of the our, our machine, yes, our machine in, in a data. Then what should we do? If you want to, if you want to write a bestseller or at least to write in this genre, then need to make the machine analyze words that are inside of these books. Inside of these books are repeatable the most. It does it. We can do this. Do this again with tokenization of our speech. For example, we use our. I mean, the, not uh, speech, but document. We have the text. Here's the text, and it is a lot. And we do tokenizing of each word, each word that I produce. They, these words are about animals and also about medieval, uh, me medieval times, Medi medieval times, and medieval. It is one word, and uh, medieval. <laughs> okay, me medieval. It is in in one word, guys, and medieval times, and uh, this. Um, this uh, machine should analyze it then he has a database of them then it will be kind of counting of each words for example we took a lot of books like uh, 2000 2000 books about medieval 
and then he analyzes the most frequently written words, like what are they. And here's dragons, first place, usage of them, here is uh, like 2732 usages, also about the horseman it will be 2100, or in uh, Miguel de Cervantes for example it will be used a lot, and uh, Don Quixote, it is medieval times but not fantasy fully, I, I think so, it is medieval times, but okay, about caballeros and uh, horsemen. And uh, here will be the word of gnome, here will be a word of elves, they are used uh, 1600 times, for example, at least. And uh, here is the, the most useful words. Then we should learn, this, then we should teach our, our machine to the most frequently written sentences that we are produced. Like, what, maybe some repeated itself, like here's, 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 here's. Then we should learn him, the machine, how people actually speak in our world, how they produce our sounds. Then we should upload database of our speech and the main sentences that we use kind of structurized and uh, what topics we speak. And almost all the way we speak about connected topics to each other. If we speak about biology, then it is specific classification of biology and we speak about, about leaves, trees, also about foxes, wolves and others. If we speak about biology, it will be this way also about flowers and other colorful creatures and uh, plants we speak when we speak about biology. And the same with uh, the machines. She should should understand that if we talk about the dragons, then the next sentence will be about the leaves of the dragons, of about his skin, about maybe his uh, horns here and his fawns and his big uh, nose, I mean, the specific, like, ooh, like uh, this person, also about his huge eyes, maybe will be the next sentence. And then maybe actions of the dragon, it means like uh, improvisation. If we started to speak about one topic, then we go f through this topic, like storytelling, not going like, dragons, uh, we are there and right now we are in a castle. Yes, it could be uh, like in a Tarantin Tarantino movie, but we should do this kind of slow, not slowly, but more flowy, flowy and the the textual like context context should be changing by 60, 70. No, no, no. It should be staying in 85, na 87, 90 percentage the sameness, same topic. For example, if we talk about dragons, then we could apply also dragons went to the castle and in the castle people started to cry and something like this. It should be kind of repeating itself, sentences should be repeating but not fully. The topic should be repeating itself in 85-90%. 80% of the whole data. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Uh, do you understand? I hope that yes. It is kind of... For example, I, I can produce right now. Dragons are strong and dragons are flying to, through the forests and other things. And then next topic we'll talk about like, oh, kangaroo rocket ship went to the space and uh, it is amazing. Yes, it is kind of uh, not super connected stories. Yes, they are connected because uh, rocket ship in the space, it is kind of, kind of flying, uh, flying, but need to connect with dragons a little bit. Like, uh, but this uh, dragon found the rocket ship of kangaroo inside of the forest. Yes, it is more like real. It was like a from machine, from a time machine. It appeared in a forest. And Jesus Christ, what will this dragon do with this, with this, uh, with this rocket, uh, rocket ship of kangaroo inside of the forest? And uh, then the story begins. And it should be kind of co connecting to each other, linked information of the previous sentence and to the next. It is all about analyzing. And uh, I think that need to create kind of sentences, uh, need to write a lot of sentences and uh, to make it uh, that machine should analyze how we connect sentences in our real life. It is natural language processing, how we connect one to another. And then 
we can teach the machine how to write books if she if the it if it will or she if we call machine as a sheep <laughs> like sh sheep is she if you didn't know a sheep like uh, on a on a sea and uh, if we can teach the machine to the skill then it could write it and it's all about data collecting it's all about like creating dictionaries here there here there a lot of data here's and then we the main procedures are easy, really. The main procedures it is analyzing and tokenizing. Analyzing, tokenizing, and then comparing tokens. Uh, if this is true, then need to do this. Then write this sentence. If this is uh, like 75%, then write another sentence. Then compare previous sentence with the current sentence, and uh, then write the next sentence. It will be sentence number four. And then create all the sentences, write it, create a first draft, then analyze each each of the each of the story is it in one topic is it using like 2000 words in total of medieval times like checking all the all the things and then okay yes we have written it as amazingly and uh, the computer said it yes it's good or maybe it is written the first uh, machine could write your first draft or second draft or third and then you can do kind of analyzing of it as a person it is really this one it is one of the easiest like supervising and you can teach kind of uh, then your machine how to write about it and uh, supervising machine learning it is when you say when your machine kind of did a work Yes, we have work, work variable, and you are kind of supervisor right now. Yeah, I will check this information right now. Is it correct or not? You do kind of editing of this information. For example, this machine wrote a book, but this book kind of 60% good, but other 40, not really nice. And you kind of changed this 40% to the good one, okay? And then you placed it to the machine, and right now it is a result that she is produced, and it is kind of etalon. Etalon, do you have do you have it in Russian? Uh, in uh, English, one moment. In Russian, we have etalon. It is the specific reference, yeah, reference standard model gauge gauge reference. reference. Standard model gauge. I think that it is model, model or standard. It is right now standard of what is good could appear from you, your writing. Then again, learning process about it, creating new book about this topic. Okay, one more book produced, supervising. Right now it, it will be 75% of correctness. Good. Then go again. It will be 82% of good. Okay, next 87. Okay, good, correct. 92% of originality and nice written. Hmm, it is already nice and really can we can read it because it is kind of writer who is not really a nice writer. Then one more iteration, it will be iteration number six, iteration num number seven, iteration number eight, iteration number nine, and already we have the good result of 99, 100%, like it is a real person have written this, or has written this book. Really, supervising, analyzing, and uh, changing a little bit of process, and uh, watching it is how it works. And uh, I think that we can create this program and need a lot of data, need a lot of data, need to work on it. And also the same thing we can do with music production, like uh, to teach uh, the machine to produce music sounds, music waves, like, uh, for example, note C, note D, note E, F, F, Fa, 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 Sol, C, Fa. Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do and others and uh, need to teach him uh, the machine to harmonize them like harmonized uh, sequences for example from the C major will be A minor then will be G major then will be F major and then again C major and it, uh, it will be our the sequence of the chords we can teach the machine and then teach something like counterpoints and then teach some maybe styles of rock rock music pop punk music also classical music also the all the things that produced in our world already and then we can teach uh, the machine to create uh, good music and uh, 
then it will be kind of electronic like but we can improve it by using again supervising in some moments we can say that here is it will be better to use volume crescendo of volume like from the small to go into the huge one and uh, from the huge one decrescendo to the small one diminuendo it will be here and uh, it will be really interesting i think so and uh, we can create it too by the way this video was amazing this video is amazing stuff i think so and uh, need to talk more about these topics because the more i speak about it the more it is sticks inside of my mind and i want to like improve myself in this i right now collect data for 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 you i want to say i collect data right now like all the data i write a lot daily i write and do the work and i want to create uh, this type of things because it is uh, improving our world in a meaning that we will do the stuff for going to another uh, to another planet and it is the stuff that it is not producing a lot of uh, like not really nice stuff for our planet it, i mean that not uh, nice stuff it is kind of uh, do you know carbon carbon it is fuel from cars and uh, need to do electronic cars need to find new ways of energy like solar panels like uh, things of this nature and it will be nice i'm uh, why do i speak about it i heard uh, from elon musk i thought about it previously in 2013 i thought about it in gravitation panels like when we smashed the gravitation panel for example it is on the floor then we can produce the energy and uh, like by stepping on the gravitation panels and because we have always gravitation power that could produce and uh, if we w w can produce something solar power a lot in our world and electricity that it is health healthy for our planet then it will be nice then we can go forward we can then go to the another planets for example to to the mars by electronic for example things and uh, we can really do this maybe maybe we can launch the the rocket ship by electricity maybe not uh, not i'm not sure fully but maybe and at least uh, we can try to do this uh, somewhere maybe and uh, it is what we can do also we can use fuel for rockets but uh, okay it is uh, the way how we can go to another planet because our planets uh, if we will continue to use carbon this way then need to need to care about planet a lot it is psychology thing it is uh, not like a talk that uh, oh jesus christ we will die all and something like this it is like right now we need to think more not about oh jesus christ ecology you need to think about how to create new ways of energy this way of uh, talk not the oh, ecology need to think about ecology and other you need to think in a way of how to improve it how to improve our system how to create more things and by doing the books and writing this way of books we can focus more on this uh, things and then we can go to another planets jupiter mars pluto and others and colonize them and then place them it is not like a scary thing to go to this planet it is the the progress of nation of civilization because we live we will continue live and the planet uh, is uh, not like a only our world like world is it is all the things because sun it is far away we like sun and it means that we like the all the galaxies around no need to be scared because some people are scared really oh another planet uh, no uh, it's okay that uh, if you feel it but uh, let's think positive okay everything will be fine everything will be good need to think about how to produce how to create how to do and simply do because uh, right now what i do i right now think about this processes i speak this way and also when i speak i already creating the mental images of me doing these things i mean that not meant of doing these things but it is the process when i speak i kind of write and i kind of think and i kind of do do the things i create also already inside of myself some variables for example rockets also the machine who learns this and next when i will go to this project i will be more like educated on this stuff because i know the steps i talked about it previously and my man memory will recall it faster it is uh, the game of recalling from our memory yes 
if we can call it a really epic sounding game of recalling from the memory. Yes, uh, because it is how our memory work. The more we talk about these things, the more we are familiar with it, the more we can go. Then uh, need to talk about uh, on this channel more about machine learning and Python too. So thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Print, print uh, the round brackets uh, quote. Thank you for watching. Ra <laughs> the quote round brackets. It is the like uh, show on the screen. Uh, thank you for watching in uh, the Python language definition. I love you function is uh, sent to you and uh, see you next time be cool and personal daily go forward you know that you can do anything in your life let's go forward